Hello, my name is April Chapman and I am a Christian wife, homeschooling mother of four black children and a small business owner. I stand here today to declare the truth and to shine light on evil. What evil am I referring to, you might ask? The evil that parade around this city and state that share my ethnic reflection, but are committed to the willful and deliberate sin of slaughtering the unborn in the womb. I could stand here and tout all the statistics of how the numbers of the black population are declining at a rapid pace, but I won't spend time doing that. Rather, I am standing here on the authority of God's word and appealing to you on the foundation of objective truth and the weight of God's word as my righteous standard. As a Christian, I am compelled to speak the truth in love as the scriptures command, and I'm also compelled to be consistent, to call out hypocrisy, to echo the infallible words of my creator, and to bring conviction through the power of the Holy Spirit in hopes that it leads to repentance. It troubles me greatly, and it should trouble you, that I can stand here today across from one of the most historic churches in this city, Yet it is pastored by a man who through his own words has demonstrated that he has no moral compass or conviction as it relates to the sin of abortion. Not only does he give full weight and support of such an atrocity, but he dares to call himself a pastor and shepherds hundreds of people. I must declare to you today that he is no shepherd but rather a wolf in ship clothing, only a wolf, a hireling, would affirm the sin of abortion and then cloak such evil in words such as reproductive rights or women's health care. My Bible affirms that God is the author of life and we, his creation, submit to his lordship and his authority. Only a deceptive and rebellious wicked heart would affirm that abortion is compatible with Christianity. The genocide of black babies in the womb propagated and supported by people who look like me is disgusting and heartbreaking. It's disgusting and offensive to a righteous and holy God. Senator Warnock is unqualified yeah. and unable to preach the whole counsel of God and unashamedly resembles the kingdom of darkness more than representing the kingdom of God. Ooh. Senator Warnock is not the only propagator of such evil. Planned Parenthood is notorious for enlisting black candidates to do their dirty work. It's disgusting to know that our very own Darshan Kendrick, the state representative from the 93rd district, also support, supports and affirms the slaughtering of the unborn in the womb. Yeah. She's been the recipient of campaign contributions from Planned Parenthood, and she, along with our Vice President Kamala Harris, who also shares my ethnic image, has supported the wicked organization of Planned Parenthood, and for decades has purposely and maliciously targeted black women and marketed abortion directly to us in such a way that our population will not sustain itself because enough of us are not being born. Mm. These three, along with many others, are carrying out the marching orders of their overlord, Planned Parenthood. They go above and beyond to make sure that black babies don't get a fighting chance to survive. The three individuals that I have mentioned by name are quick to tout that white supremacy is a major threat to black America. But I present to you today that these charlatans and emissaries of Satan are the true face of white supremacy. Yes. They hide in plain yes. sight and they support Planned Parenthood who's chosen to carry out abortion in ways that violate civil rights and how they target black women on the basis of their ethnicity. This is a direct violation of civil rights, but more importantly and above all else, it is a violation of God's law. Amen. So no, I don't believe you when you call yourself a pastor or a Christian, and yet you affirm the slaughtering of the unborn in the womb. Those two worldviews are wholly incompatible, and you will be judged by a righteous and holy God who will punish sin. Proverbs 6, 17 through 18 affirms that God hates hands that shed innocent blood and he, a heart that devises wicked plans. Planned Parenthood and their agenda against black women qualifies as hands that shed innocent blood and their agenda when examined in the light of objective truth is painfully obvious that they're devising and clearing, carrying out wicked plans. So I beg you, 
repent of your sin, turn to Christ, and abandon your prideful and staunch support of the very organization that is committed to fulfilling its founder's wicked agenda, which is the extinguishing of the Negro race. So no, I don't believe you when you say Black Lives Matter, and I definitely don't believe you when you claim to care about women, especially when you claim the name of Christ. Amen. Whoa. Whoa. Thank <laughs> you.